athletes to the field of play for the Rickers winning gold medal match. Well, it's time to go for gold, and it's the expected lineup. Two Koreans facing each other for the title in 2022. On target number one, representing Korea, Choi Mi Soon. On target number two, representing Korea, An San. The line just for this match is. Well, it is the lineup that everyone expected. Uh, these two going up against each other. I know you've already publicly given your uh, prediction for this one. Are you sticking with it? I am sticking with it. Choi Mi Sun for me. I think she's going to be the better archer here. I think, I think it'll be a match. I think it'll be a good one. Well, they've uh, come out in home and away strip, if you like. Choi wearing the white on target number one and wearing the blue. Sorry, it's the other way around, isn't it? No, it's not. There you go. Choi Mi Sun to shoot first. Yes. <laughs> what a start. <laughs> and San in the blue. Nueve diez. So that's going for a measure. Nikki, they've they've demonstrated some nerves here through uh, through to the final, but they have made it through. Do you think they're going to settle down now they're shooting against each other? I think they probably will. I think they'll be, I don't know, strangely a bit more relaxed probably. Um, they've sort of done everything they need to do. They've got Korea on the top and second step of the podium now, so it's just fighting out against a teammate he trained so much with. Yes, yes, yes. And it's a perfect start from Choi Mi Sun and your bet is looking at a strong one, Nikki. Choi Mi Sun will claim these first set points unless that first arrow, well, that's definitely the points to uh, Choi. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it, that you think that they get to the gold medal match, potentially even more nervy, but there's such respect between the athletes that uh, it's almost like it doesn't matter one of them's going to get gold, one of them's going to get silver. Is it as simple as that? I don't know. I think, you know, deep down they're both competitive archers who want to win. It's uh, you know, it's such a massive sport, a massive following in Korea, and they want to go home victorious. Choi off to the better start. Marked as two nines in the end for An San. Training by two set points, she will shoot first. Just dragging that front yes. arm over <laughs> did enough to make a ten. Archers known for their quick timing of the shots. They don't spend long at full draw. It's continuous movement and motion all the way through. That was a bit uncharacteristic. Able to have a long smile and laugh about it. Uh, but at 28 is enough for the scores to be levelled up. Interesting. Did, did you see anything in particular that would have drifted that one out to the seven? Not especially. I think maybe she was just indicating a release uh, to her coach there, but I don't know if we'll see anything on the follow through. I think usually going to the right is usually sort of a softness on the front arm. So that just sort of drops and comes across a little bit to the right for a right handed archer. There is the seven, but we didn't see anything of the release, so hard to say, but that was the response taken very much in a stride. 
But it does mean that uh, it's all square between Choi and Anne as we go into the third set. So Choi to get the third underway. Yes. shot from Troy. And Sans process is very unfussy, isn't it? I mean, not that Choi's is complicated, but it, it, yes. it just a few movements for Sans mm. to get into full draw. Yeah, and that's typical of the Koreans anyway, that they base their shot sequence on just movement, very simple. I think we definitely overcomplicate archery well sometimes. Right. <coughs> so 10 required to share the points. And it's a 9 for a 28, so we have Troy in the lead again. So now a set win away from the title for Choi Mi-sun. Troy, of course, took this title in 2015 when it was right here in Mexico, but not in Tlaxcala. It was in Mexico City uh, when she won the title. Can she do it again? Seven years down the line. The 29 set by Choi and needed the 10 with that last arrow. It was ever so close, but not enough. So now Ann San will shoot first in the fourth set, trailing by four set points to two. Yes. Ocho. Really super quick shot that. I wonder if she wasn't just quite ready. set points and level up Nueve. and gets the nine for a 28. Just waiting for the clock there I think. Nueve. Well it's all square again um, but what we've seen is Choi going 10 10 10 obviously can't be topped to take uh, a two set point lead a two point set lead then shooting a seven in the second uh, opening the door to Ansan San to level up then going 10 10 9 in the third to go 4 2 up against a 10 9 9 so not too bad a score from Ansan, San and then dropping an eight to level up again uh, Strange to have one really good set, then drop the ball, then have another good set, and then drop the ball again. Yep, and consistency of Ansan all the way. 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9. <laughs> it's going to take something special here. We go into the fifth set, and there's nothing between these two archers apart from consistency of Ansan, the triple Olympic champion. Choi Mi Sun to shoot first in set number five, though. Yes. Yes. Well, based on your theory, Karim, Choi is due a good set now. Nueve. 
that is normally seen as an opportunity. Can Ansan capitalise? Oh, now that's called a nine for a measure. That looked exceptionally close. This will add some tension to the end of this if they both shoot the same score with the last arrow. So 28 finish here for Ansan. A 10 is possible. She's in to the middle of the target for a 29. That measure does not matter at all. Choi Mi Sun put down a 28. Uh, Ann San has come out and shot potentially three tens and a perfect 30 to take the title here in Tlaxcala. It's gold for the Korean. We wait for confirmation of the final score, but it won't make a difference. Ann San is the champion here in Mexico. Well, what a remarkable match. Choi going 2-0 up, then dropping a 7 in the second set. Only to fight back in the third to go 4-2 up, and then dropping an 8 in set number 4. Shot a 10-9-9 for a 28. But in the end, it was An San who shot a 29 and is the recurve women's gold medalist here at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Final.